Hi, this is Mike with Mike and Rick Outdoors. I'm here at Norfolk, Arkansas at the Quarry Park, Norfolk River, doing some trout fishing. Uh, Rick couldn't make it with me today. He's um, still in Colorado. It's about a 15 hour drive for him, so he decided to pass this one up. But I came down here on my own, did some camping, and it's a beautiful park. Absolutely love this place. They got a lot of trout, uh, cutthroat, rainbow, brown trout and tiger trout. Really recommend this place. It's one of the top five rated trout fishing locations in the U.S. Well, here I am at the North Fork River. There's the dam, December the 29th. Got a lucky warm day. Looks like a beautiful river. Here's my boat. Got all my gear ready to go. Get out there and see if I can catch me a trout. I think I'm gonna try this guy right here first. That's my first North Fork River trout. Let's see what we got here. That's not a bad little trout. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Pretty little, little trout, little rainbow. Got him. Oh, he got off. Got him that time. Nice fish. It turned the boat around. That's a nice fish. That's a nice rainbow there. That's a nice fish. That one I fought pretty hard. I could tell that was... That one might be 14, I don't know. That was definitely a nice fish. I think this is a cutthroat. Yeah, it's got the red on the gills, so this is a, a nice size cutthroat. He's 15 and a half. I think it's a cutthroat from the, I'm gonna turn him loose. 15 and a half cutthroat. Beautiful fish. Whew. All I know is he pulled hard. Pretty little rainbow. You're gonna get a, you're gonna let me get a picture of you. There you go. Very nice. 
nice little Norfolk, Arkansas rainbow. And in the water he goes back into the river. Uh, hooked another one. Let's see if we can catch another one. I got another one, got him. Got him. That's a pretty nice one. He's about a, about a 10 inch rainbow. All right, buddy. Time to go back and get bigger. Beautiful rainbow. Down he goes. Got him. How big he is. Uh, we'll see. Uh, another, uh, I don't know what kind this one is. All right. Another eight inch. Eight inch or so rainbow. He's gonna flop out of my hand any time now. Come on, flop. Yeah, I just let you go then. I throw him off. There he goes. Uh, got him. Another one. All right. Another nice Norfolk River rainbow. Put him back in the water. There you go. Uh, had a good hit. Little fish. Looks like maybe a small cutthroat. Got a little bit of red on his gills. Yeah, he's got some coloration on his tail. Yeah, look a little bit different than the rainbows I've been catching. All right, back in the water he goes. 
Hey, got him. A pretty nice little rainbow. I'd say about an eight inch one. Really pretty. All right, back in the water, yo. <laughs> Got him. Got another one. There he is. And another rainbow. And the water goes. Hey, first fish of the day. Hey, this looks like a, a cutthroat or something like that. Yeah, this is a nice fish. This is a cutthroat, definitely. Yeah, definitely a cutthroat. No, he's not going to get 24. He's definitely a, a nice fish. He is 16. 16 inch cutthroat. First fish of the day. There we go. Definitely a nice. 16 inch, definitely a cutthroat. Put him back in the water here. Got him. This is like a pretty good little fish. Looks like a rainbow. Yeah, oh, pretty rainbow, pretty nice little rainbow. Second fish of the day. First one was that cutthroat, and it looks like about a, maybe a eight inch, maybe 10. There we go, buddy. I got another one. Just like another little rainbow. There we go. There we go. 
a nice quick and release. Got him. Yeah, I got another one. Hooked into something here that might be pretty good size. Ah, uh, regular rainbow, I think. Yeah, hooked another one here. Oh, I had a hit. Well, here I am at the Dam Quarry Campground. A uh, really nice facility. This is January the 1st. They have uh, really nice showers, restrooms, one building located there. Another building over here behind my tent. There's my setup. And there's the river. So we're getting ready to go fishing. I heard the browns are catching big browns right now, so I'm anxious to get out here in the water. Really nice place. There's the dam in the background, North Fork Reservoir. And here we are on the North Fork River. Yeah, 
first fish of the day. Looks like a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice little rainbow. Well, I'm using my crawdad lure here. I caught one rainbow one. I'm trying to catch a brown. Brown's more of a predatory fish. But I did catch a rainbow on this, which to my surprise. But there's a view back towards the dam. Beautiful day. I caught two. I got two of them in the ice chest. You can keep up to five. And so, I'm trying to catch one of the big browns. I'm thinking this crowded lure would work. And not, no luck yet. But first thing in the morning early, I'm gonna get out here and try my luck with this thing. Like I said, I did catch a rainbow on it. It's a beautiful view of the river. And there's the campground up there to the left. So we're gonna keep trying. see if we can catch one of these browns out of here or these decent rainbow Well, here we are, the last morning, fishing right here below the dam, North Fork River. Oh, I had a, had a hit, one bit at it. Right here where this creek empties in. Uh, it's got the name of that branch there. It's a limited fishing only. Empties out in here. Always a good place to fish where the creeks and rivers run into other rivers. It brings in food and they congregate around there to, to feed. So it should be a good spot. <clears throat> hey, I got one. First fish of the morning. is current.
Yep, there he goes. I'm gonna walk down here. It looks like a good looks like a good spot right down here. How he did with these rapids. cast right out there, of course retrieve it upstream. No more real live action on the lure when you're reeling in upstream. Looks good right here. Right next to those rapids. We'll try it here a little bit. See if we can snag one. I can't say enough about this park. It's fantastic camping. They have two buildings here that have several showers and restrooms in each building. First class facilities, really nice camping, great for RV hookups. I'm using my 12 by 12 uh, Kodiak canvas cabin lodge tent and set up with that and it's working really well. And I've got my Briz boat that we've done reviews on that and reviews on the Kodiak tent. Great using the Briz boat in this uh, Norfolk River. The Norfolk River is about four and a half, five miles long, starts here at the dam, and then ends up down the town of Norfolk and where it runs into the White River. Full of fish, they stock the thing constantly. Right here, and we'll look at it here in a minute, is the Larry Ryder Access to Dry Run uh, Creek, where you can take 16 year old kids and younger and bring them out here fishing. And it, you can go over there and look and it's just 20, 20 plus inch rainbows and trout, whatever kind they are, swimming in there. It's catch and release only though, but it's great to catch them, just tear your line up, it's a really good fight. So that's a really great place to bring kids and, and, uh, and mobility, mobility impaired people can fish that, but it's a catch and release only, you gotta put them back, but it's fun. Most of the time you just catch and release anyway. So anyway, so we're camping here for about three or four days. Like I said, the Dam Quarry Park here, Norfolk River, a great place. I highly recommend it. I think I was reading it's rated in, in uh, one of the top five trout fishing rivers in the U.S. Uh, you have to look that up online. I think I was reading that one time. It kind of surprised me when I read it, but not when I got here. I caught probably maybe 30 fish. I got video after video, quite a bit of video of catching fish, and it kept. You can keep up to five. One, has to be, one can be over 14, but you can keep a total of five with one over 14. I caught uh, a 16, two 14s, and then various sizes underneath that, 12, 10, 8, 10, 8 to 10, 12 inches. One really nice 16, really dark colored. I'm not sure if they're cutthroat or rainbow. It doesn't matter. They were great fun to catch, uh, had a blast. So it, I recommend it every, at uh, four o'clock every day. At this particular time, they let water out and raise it about a foot and the fish just go crazy. I mean, it's really a great time to catch, catch the fish. They really start hitting good and biting from about four o'clock till dark. So I've had a lot of fun, I had a blast. Fantastic place to camp, fantastic place to fish. Like I said, I caught a lot of trout. I used, as you'll see in the video, uh, just a spoon. I didn't fly fish, but fly fishermen, quite a few. Uh, catching fish on uh, fly uh, gear, fly equipment. A lot of people using bait, a lot of people using lures, artificial lures, like the little spoons and spinners and stuff like I was using. But I uh, did well, did just as good as everybody else using my little spoons. Had a lot of fun, great time, great getaway. I highly recommend it. You will catch trout if you come here to fish. So I appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's what they call the Larry Ryder Access, a dry run creek. It's a catch and release area. Take a look at it and see what we got here. Requir requirements for fishing. 16, under 16 accompanied by adult. Catch and release. Of course, that's the dam there. And this is the special area there that catch and release only. So this is full of trout, of course.
Yeah, I'm sure you can stand here and catch trout all day long out of this. It's a restricted area, catch and release. And I see, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there, there's one, looks like maybe a 20 inch rainbow or brown, I'm not sure. Very, very large trout. I can see them in the water swimming. Like I said, I don't know if you can see that one there. There's two or three. There's another one over there. There's another one up there next to the rock. It's full of trout. But it's catch and release. 16 years or under. So you can bring your kids out here and catch a nice big trout. Nice hole of water full of trout. The dry Run Creek. Of course, it runs down here. We were at the other end. I was fishing down at the other end there, probably maybe 300 yards, three to 400 yards down there, it runs into the North Fork right below the dam. Oh yeah, you can catch a lot of nice trout out of this one right here for a lot of, a lot of fun. Great place to take uh, 16 years and younger. Let them, let them catch a lot of trout, take your, take your child fishing here at the North Fork River and uh, catch some trout. I caught quite a few trout total in three days of fishing, probably 30 trout. Like I said, one of them was at uh, 16, a couple of them were 14s and some 12s and 10s. But the ones I see swimming right here, right here in this, uh, these waterfalls here, those are at least 20. Beautiful place. Northern Arkansas, North Fork River, just outside of North Fork, Arkansas. There's biggest town, Mountain Home, probably about a 15, 20 minute drive to Mountain Home, Arkansas. So if you get a chance, I highly recommend coming to this particular campground, Quarry Park. I think it's called Dam Quarry Park here at the North Fork River. Really popular area. I don't know how many fish they said were miles, 6,000 fish per mile or something like that, or how many fish is in the river. So a, a lot of fish, a lot of fish, a lot of people catching them. Most people release, but you can keep up to five a day, and one of them can be over 14.